Good evening students. Today in this video I am telling you about the unification of the Great Britain. As we know that unification of the Great Britain is considered as the model of nation buildings because this unification process was not done in the result of any sudden upheaval or the revolution. It was the result of very long run process. As we know before 18th century there was no any British nation. Their primary identity was mainly ethnic one like English, Welsh, Scottish and Ireland. As English people were growing steadily by their importance and wealth, they could impose their dominance over the other rivals. The English parliament which seized the power from the monarchy in 1688 was the instrument through which the English as its centre carried out the process of unification. Now, in 1707, English Parliament made the Act of Union with the Scottish and resulted in the United Kingdoms of Great Britain. As the importance of the English grew, it means it was the Scottish whose cultural and political identity was systematically suppressed. These people means those who were living in the highlands of the Scotland, they were even not allowed to speak their Gaelic language and even they were not allowed to wear their national dress. It means what? Very systematically, British government imposed their power on the Scotland. Now, we will see the story of Ireland. Ireland also faced the same fate. Ireland was the country deeply divided into the Protestant and Catholics. Here, English helped Protestants to impose their dominance over the largely Catholic countries. Catholic people tried to revolt against the British dominance, but these revolts were suppressed. Finally, the failed revolt led by the Wolf Tone in 1798, Great Britain imposed their dominance or the Ireland was incorporated forcibly in Great Britain in 1801 and unification of the Great Britain was completed. Now, all the symbols of Great Britain like national flag, Union Jock, their national anthem, God Saves Our Noble King and English language became the symbols of United Kingdom of India, United Kingdom of Great Britain, sorry. So, in this way, unification of the Britain was completed. So here the question will be there describe the process of unification of Great Britain or describe the events leading to the unification of the Great Britain. So I hope answer is clear to all. 